Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about different eligibility requirements you need to satisfy if you are planning to move to Canada on a student permit. So without wasting any time, let's get right into it. For those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Arshwik. I have been living in Canada for the last 5 years and I recently became a Canadian immigration consultant. So I started this YouTube channel to help anyone and everyone who is planning to move to Canada. People normally have different kinds of questions when they are applying for a student permit of Canada. Like, what is the minimum IELTS score you need to get a positive response? Or what is the minimum amount of money you need to show in your application? How long can you stay in Canada on a student permit? Or can you change your career if you are moving to Canada as a student? Or is there any kind of age restrictions when you are making an application for a student permit? In order to get answers for these questions, we need to look at the eligibility requirements when you are making an application for a student permit of Canada. In order to make sure that you get a positive response on your application, you need to satisfy the following criteria factor. The first thing is your proof of acceptance. So when you get a letter from a Canadian college or university declaring that you have been enrolled in one of the courses or a degree program that the college or university is offering, you satisfy this criteria factor. When you get this letter, then you do not need to show any more proof of your language requirements. The next thing is you cannot have any criminal background. An applicant who has a criminal background and makes an application for a student permit of Canada will probably get a refusal. The next factor is you need to prove that you are not a potential health hazard to any of the visitors, temporary resident, permanent resident or a citizen of Canada. In order to satisfy this criteria, you can submit your medical examination result. And last but not the least, you need to show that you have enough funds that can help you pay your tuition fees and meet your minimum basic expenses or your duration of stay in Canada. Canadian government normally recommends showing $10,000 for every year of study per applicant but I would recommend showing at least $15,000 per year of your study. So let's say you are migrating to Canada on a two-year student permit then you need to show at least $30,000 in order to get a positive response. So these are the four eligibility criteria factors that you need to satisfy if you are making an application for a student permit of Canada. I hope you like this video and please like, share and subscribe to this channel and if you have any questions regarding student permit application, please write back to us in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Bye.